Hi, I'm Jay. I'm going to be showing you how to check out the O2 bag and how to change the portable O2 tank when it's empty. So first you're going to find the green bag, the green O2 bag. It's going to be in this slot and you can access it by either sliding these things off or opening the door from the outside. And so when you check it out, you need to check to make sure that you have um, sufficient amount of non-rebreathers, adult and pediatric, that you have oral airways, nasal airways with um, the gel, that you have uh, a stethoscope BP cuff, um, a um, mouth mask barrier, a pocket mask, and um, other things that you need to have in the O2 bag um, for every duty. So the first thing you check out, or I check out, is the oxygen tank. And so, when you check out the oxygen tank, most of them have a, um, what's called an oxygen wrench attached to it. All it is is a um, wrench that's used to um, open up the oxygen tank, so oxygen goes into the regulator, and then you can determine how much um, oxygen is still in the tank, and then from that you can choose how, um, how much flow there is. So when you open it up, you go, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey, and so all you need is enough just so it's a little loose. And so on this tank, we see that it's empty. And so I'm going to have to show you how to um, change the main oxygen tank, or the uh, portable oxygen tank. So when it's empty, you just want to, sometimes um, when it's empty, or when we have to change it, it'll just be right above the red. Um, sometimes it'll just be right above the red and there'll still be oxygen in it. And so what we'll have to do is tighten it, make sure that it's closed, what we call bleeding the tank, which is letting out any excess oxygen in the regulator. And then we're going to loosen the regulator from the actual tank. And so we do this um, by pulling this and twisting this off. This comes out and comes off. And so this is your empty O2 tank. And I'll show you where to put this later. And then we're going to take a full O2 tank. And you can find two full ones here and here. I just have a, uh, a spare one that we, um, that we know is um, full. And so we take this. When you have a full O2 tank, it's going to look like this. And it's going to have a plastic tab on here, and when you pull it, there's going to be a green thing right here. Um, if your O2 regulator has a black rubber grommet, you're not going to need the green seal. The green seal, because when you seal it to the tank, the rubber acts as a better seal than the plastic. So, um, in most of the regulators, you don't need to use the green plastic, but in some cases when there's no seal, you, um, you do need to use it. So what you do is you locate the three prongs on the O2 tank, and then you locate the three prongs on the regulator, and you slide this on, and uh, make sure that goes in, and then you're going to tighten um, the O2 regulator so that it's nice and snug with the O2 tank and sometimes these are really short and you can't get much leverage so what you can do is use the wrench and get more leverage and get some more rotation so it's tighter and then what you're gonna do is make sure that it's on tight and there's no leaks between the actual tank and the regulator so lefty loosey and then you just saw the O2 shoot up from zero to a little bit below full I think yep right there and so now that you know there's no you don't hear any hissing um, if you do hear hissing it's gonna sound um, if you do hear hissing it's gonna sound a little bit like this
Now when you hear that, you know that um, and when this is on zero, so there should be no flow of oxygen, you hear the hissing, that means that the regulator and the oxygen tank are not tight together. So all I need to do is tighten it some more or take the whole regulator off and readjust it. But once you retighten it and then open it, you don't hear any hissing, that means it's good. So then you close it and then what we we do um, we, what we call bleed the tank, it's where you let all the excess oxygen out from in between the tank and the regulator. So the O2 tank is checked out, it has enough oxygen, it is around a little below full or 2000, we have to change them um, when they're at or below 500 and um, when you're um, when you're just getting on the duty you should change it around 500 but sometimes you'll have to change it um, in preparation a little bit before if you think um, I mean you'll have to change it when uh, sometimes mid call if it's just at 600 and um, you're, you're on portable oxygen for a while. So now that this is checked out, we have to check out the rest of the oxygen bag. Um, in here should be all your non-rebreathers, nasal cannulas, nebulizers, and O2 tubing. So here we have an example two adult non-rebreathers. You can tell it's a non-rebreather because you see the mask, and it says adult here. And um, this one, it's in smaller writing, it's adult here. It depends on the manufacturer of them, where it says. But usually the white piece of paper that says adult, it's adult. Um, and then we have pediatric non breathers masks. You can tell by looking at it because the physical mask is smaller, but also the paper is blue. So there's two of each right here. And then we have... Um, we have a nasal cannula, which um, looks like looks as the same as O2 tubing, except O2 tubing has the green end pieces, which is notable, and the nasal cannula just has one large tube ending. That's clear. Um, nasal cannula says nasal cannula. Oxygen tubing says oxygen tubing. We use nasal cannula. Um, only for two to six liters per minute um, of oxygen, and the O2 tubing is used for bag valve masks. Um, so we have all that here, and then we also have nebulizers, which the medics use for stuff like albuterol and anything um, that they need to give through the airway, um, like difficulty breathing and albuterol. And so that is should be in here and zipped up so that way when you open it it doesn't fly everywhere but what I like to do is um, just put one of each one of each so an adult non breather a pediatric non breather nasal cannula nebulizer and oxygen tubing just in here so I don't have to unzip this I can just grab it along with the oxygen tank and I can uh, attach it and apply it to the patient so we have all that in there. We have this here. The oxygen is checked out, so I put this back, close it, zip it up. And then on the sides, we have the other stuff that I've mentioned before, such as um, uh, oral airways, nasal airways, BP cuff, stethoscope. We also have gloves, a pocket mask, manual suction, which I have um, which doesn't really get used because we have the automatic suction or the electronic suction. But we have hard tip suction and suction tubing in here as well. Um, it's all listed out on the EMT checkout. And so when you do it, you just want to make sure that you have the right amount of everything in here. Um, and so it doesn't... There's no real set pocket each needs to be in as long as it's there and as long as you're familiar with it um, and you know which side to get stuff on so if you're on scene you're not fumbling around trying to look for nasal 
can or nasal airways when they're in this pocket, but you're looking in this pocket. It's just good to know which side they're on. Um, and the other side is another pocket as well. Um, and so one pocket will have all the small stuff, such as the airways and the BP cuff stethoscope. The other side will have the three BVMs that you need to have in each. You have your large adult size. Um, it says adult, big letters here. Then you have intermediate size for child. Um, some of these bags are old because they don't, they, we don't use them too often. But this is child. And then we have the smaller infant um, or baby BBM. So that's all on this side. And then also in here, there's bulb syringe and um, pocket masks. And so that is how you check out the O2 bag. And I'll show you now where to get and put empty in full oxygen tanks. Cool. All right, so when you have your empty O2 tank that you just replace with a full one, you take it, no regulator, there's nothing attached, it's just an empty O2 tank. You put it in this crate area here and leave it there. And then when you get a full tank to replace the one that you took from the middle area of the ambulance, you get it from supplies over here in this crate area, it says full O2 tanks in big letters here. And so you get one here, it's got the tab on it and everything so you know it's full and um, hasn't been opened yet. And so you take it with you and bring it over and strap it into the middle of the ambulance. And so that is how you check out your Mega O2 bag for the beginning of your shift.